Hello everyone! Welcome to another fun video. Today we are making this adorable little box. Um, there's a little sweet treat inside this that I'm going to share with you in just a second. This is kind of um, like a patriotic box that I thought would be fun for 4th of July, but you can absolutely um, change this greeting, change this DSP, and this would be perfect for Christmas or any kind of um, like a baby shower too, that would be really cute. You could be like, welcome baby. The stars I think would still be cute. You'd do some DSP, maybe change the color of the, the box. That'd be really cute for a little baby shower. So this is what we're gonna make today. So I'm gonna show you um, this in just a second. But you guys, I have some brand new online exclusive products that I thought I would share with you. We have some brand new online exclusives launching in July. I believe it's July 5th, but I will be um, giving you some more information about that as we get closer. But I wanted to show you some some really cute um, products that are coming. So let's just jump in. I didn't get a whole lot, um, honestly, out of the whole um, offering. I really didn't get a, a ton of products. So um, I just want to show you the few things that I got. I just got a few things to play with. Our, our July online ex exclusive launch is going to really focus on the holidays and I thought it was really hard to craft for Christmas right now, but I did grab a few things. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. There's plenty more coming, believe me. These are um, pecan pie and clear ribbon adhesive back dots. So I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up all that well, but um, you can see it, especially in these clear ones. There's like this little texture behind them. They kind of look like... Um, like a little ribbon, I guess. I mean, I guess that's what they're calling them, but it's, v these are very pretty and they're very fun. Um, I really like these a lot. Now remember when you have clear, um, or lighter colored embellishments, you can always use your Stampin' Blends and color them any color. So I am loving these, um, and I'm loving the opportunity to make them any color. Um, I got one package of DSP. This is a six by six stack, and this is the Iconic Celebrations. Um, this is a really fun pack, and we're just, I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. So um, there's some Christmas themed stuff on here. Those little candy canes are very cute. Some little holly branches, um, like some um, New Year's or Valentine's. There's little hearts. So this is really like a year round um, DSP. There's um, little acorns for fall, the, I think that's crushed, or um, Cajun Craze polka dots. So cute. And look at that plaid for Christmas. More fun um, holiday stuff. Just, I mean, th some of these are just basic patterns that you can use any time of the year. I'm just going to keep kind of putting these down so we can flip through these. But look at those fun fireworks for New Year's, or you can even do that for the 4th of July. There's some candles for birthdays. Um, some more Christmas stuff, snowflakes. These little pumpkins are adorable. I just love those little pumpkins and that plaid, that pecan pie plaid. Very cute. Um, some a dove, some more stars. I mean, and some trees. Look at that one. That one's beautiful. You could use that year round for sure. Some little confetti, some stars. So definitely, definitely a year round package of DSP. And this one is, is coming in the online exclusives again in July. So um, if you love any of these products, you can actually put these in your starter kit and join my team this month and add these into your starter kit. All right, let's talk about a couple of stamp sets that I got. So this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the scenic pumpkin patch. I almost called it the scenic paper pumpkin patch, but that's not what it is. It's a scenic pumpkin patch. And this is kind of, these are those fun build your your scene kind of stamps. Um, I I love pumpkins, so these were so cute for me, and so I can't wait to to really play with this. And I love all the different sizes of pumpkins; so cute. So um, this is a single stamp set, no dies, no punches or anything to go with this one. That's just a stamp set. Um, I got a couple of bundles. This is greetings of the season. So this is another um, just greeting set, but beautiful um, Christmas fonts. Christmas greetings. Um, just really pretty. But the reason I got this was because I could not um, miss out on these incredible dies. Look at these amazing dies. Um, these tag dies, these little label dies, and they all have the little holes to make them tags. So just fantastic um, dies. These all have like um, little perforated edges or like dotted edges just to add some more texture. So they're amazing dies and you can get this as a bundle and this is part of a suite as well it may be part of that the suite with that dsp i'm i'm honestly not sure but um but you can definitely get this as a bundle so really really cute 
bundle and I love the dice. All right, and the very last bundle I got is the potions and spells. So this is a Halloween one. I normally don't craft a lot for Halloween, um, but I, I really like this stamp set. I like the fun little greetings, a little hocus pocus, double, double toil and trouble. But what really sold me were these incredible dies. The dies are so phenomenal. There's like the cauldron, there's like the drippy th stuff coming out of the cauldron. There's little uh, bobbles, um, bottles and little um, witch's broom. So many fun elements in these dies and the dies are really what sold me just like on that last bundle the dies are really what sold me so um so i'm gonna be crafting for halloween this year and i've actually um i made some cards on friday with these i'm filming this on sunday so um but isn't this fun look at how fun that is so the i use the dies this is all basically dies the only thing i stamped was this not fun um, everything else is just made with dyes. So this will be featured on my blog coming very soon. All these bubbles are so cute and those are all just from the dyes. So very, very cute. And then the other card I made, what is a little interactive card. This is a waterfall card. I haven't made one of these in a long time, but I use lots of the stamp sets and dyes on this one. When you pull this down, look at the little bottles and the dyes also have little, um, little potions to put in the bottles. So when you keep pulling this down, that sweet little cat, and then the broom. So this fun waterfall card. Um, I'm hoping to actually have a video up on this um, next week. So hopefully you'll see uh, more details on how to make this waterfall card. Um, but just a couple examples from the potions and spells bundle. And again, this is coming in the online exclusives coming in July. Okay, let's get started. Let's jump right in. If you are shopping this month, we have an amazing sale going on. We have a dye bundle going on through June 30th. So all um, stamp and dye bundles right now are on sale, to an additional 10% off in my online store. That makes them about 20% off for you. So that is a huge, huge deal. So don't miss that. You can shop for that. I do have a host code in my uh, video description and you can check out more details on my blog. And there's also a link for that in my video description as well. Um, okay, so inside my box, I have these red, white, and blue cakes. I found these at my local grocery store. These are perfect for little patriotic gifts. And so we'll pull one of these out. These are going to go inside our box. Um, put that over there. Oh, wait, that's going to fall. Hold on. Let's, there we go. <laughs> put that over there. So these little cakes. Now, Little Debbie always has um, these little square snack cakes. So again, like I said, if you didn't want to make this box for your 4th of July parties, um, you could absolutely just kind of save this box in the back of your mind, put, make it for Christmas, make it for any other holiday that's going to have these um, fun little um, cakes. So they always have them, and I think they have them, I mean, year-round too, just in plain chocolate and vanilla too, not, that aren't specially decorated. So keep that in mind. So the little box, it opens at the top like this, and then the, the little cake is inside. So very cute. I think I'm going to send this to, with my daughter for camp. I think she'll like that. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and work. I have the I have some real red cardstock for my box base. And this is eight by seven and a half. So it's almost a full square. Um, but just be aware which side is the seven and a half inch side, which side is the eight inch side, because they're, you have to score them in different spots and the box won't work if you score them incorrectly on the wrong side. So just keep in mind. So the seven and a half inch side, we are going to score at let's see, two and a quarter, three and a half, five and three fourths, and at seven. Now I have all of these measurements in the video description, so you don't have to worry about writing any of these down. And now we're gonna turn it to the eight inch side and we're going to score it at half an inch, at one and three fourths, and at six and three fourths. All right, now full disclosure here, guys. I haven't made this box in a couple of weeks. I um, I got these little cakes, um, maybe like, maybe, it, maybe it's only been a week. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made this box. So I hope I remember how to, how to get this going. Okay, so. Go ahead and burnish on all those score lines. We only have straight score lines, so it's, it's easy burnish on them. Burnish on all of those score lines. You guys have been so patient with me. I have not been able to go live for almost, for over a month now, I think, and you guys have been so very patient with me. So thank you guys so much for, um, for letting me have some family time right now. It's 
but um, okay, let's talk about this. We'll go back to that in a second, but okay. So you have two score lines on the top up here. You have um, a half inch one, and then I think this is what, one and a half, and then you have another one down here. So our box is gonna fold up like this. And that half inch tab is going to be the flap that folds into the box. So the one with just the one score line down here, this is going to be the bottom of our box. So we're going to start by with down here. There's a little half inch tab here. We are going to cut this out. So straight up on that score line. And then I'm going to cut this at an angle and just take off that half inch tab. We, we don't need that one. So now I'm going to go straight up on the score line again on this long rectangle. And on this little square tab, we're gonna trim those tabs. You don't have to make these pretty. These are gonna get folded inside the bottom of the box. Nobody's ever gonna see them. All right, we're going to do the same on this one. So straight up that score line. And then on this um, square tab, we're going to cut notches. So you wanna keep the long rectangles nice and straight but then you want to notch it on the little tabs. So that's the bottom of your box. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over. This panel right here is going to be the front of the box. And when we fold it around, this is going to be the front of the box. So this is going to be the, um, the half inch tab that we wanna save. So I'm actually gonna start here. So I'm gonna cut on either side of this, this panel right here, because that's gonna be the front of our box. Okay, so I know that this is the piece that we're gonna save. I'm just gonna fold that out of the way a little bit. All right, now over here, I'm gonna fold this, at, cut this at an angle, this on our half inch tab here. And then I'm going to just trim this at a small angle as well. Now these tabs are going to be seen. These are gonna fold into the box, but I promise you, if they are not perfect, if they are not even, nobody is going to care. Nobody's gonna be taking out rulers and measuring your little tabs, so that tab, you're gonna cut off that half inch tab on top and just cut, angle those sides a little bit. And that's really gonna help with getting your box to go together. All right, we're gonna do the same on this one. So we're gonna cut up the score line and then we're just gonna kinda of angle these in just a little bit. But when you um, kinda of cut the bulk out and cut it at an angle, it really um, helps your box fold together much easier. And then we're gonna take off that half inch tab right there. Now this piece right here, we don't need this piece at all. So we are going to cut this off completely, just like this, okay? So this is what your finished box should look like. And I'm gonna leave that there for a second if you need to pause it or take a screenshot and I'm gonna clean up my trash. All right, so this is our box. Now, one thing that I didn't do, I didn't grab tools for this, that I did for this one, but let me show you. For the, I did a little half inch circle punch for a finger notch and you would punch that out of this piece right here. Um, just punch half a circle. You can use really any shaped punch for a finger notch. The half inch circle is easy. It's basically like a little thumb notch. And then I rounded the corners of my tab, of this tab. Um, I didn't grab those punches before I started this video, so we're not gonna do that. But if you wanted to do that, you absolutely could. But let's go ahead and stick our box together. Let me grab some adhesive here. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this over and on this half inch side here, I'm going to put some adhesive on this. Okay, now don't stick that down. Um, this is gonna be, like we talked about, this is our front piece, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on this. I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus, I'm using a strong adhesive. You can use any strong adhesive you want. Now on these little um, tabs, we're gonna put adhesive on the inside of that. So inside of the bottom pieces on those, those tabs, and then on the outside of that half inch piece. Okay, so we're going to fold this in. Now be careful, you can't lay this flat because you have all that adhesive on the bottom. So just be careful. Um, you can always add the adhesive to the bottom later if you want to be able to lay this flat, but just line up those score lines and give that a good burnish. Okay, now we're going to start with the back piece. The back gets folded in first, the two sides and then the front gets folded in. So all that adhesive gets adhered. And you don't have any tabs on the inside. It's nice and smooth on the inside. Give that a really good burnish. Make sure everything is stuck. And I'm gonna give this a really good burnish too on the side right here. All right, so there is your, your box. You have a nice, clean, rounded finish. 
all the tabs are tucked on the inside and you're never gonna see those. All right, let's stick our little cake in here and we're gonna fold this up, tuck in our little box, there we go. Perfect, there is our sweet little box. All right, now let's do our tags. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna do our tags before we start putting on our DSP because um, we're just, it's gonna be the easier way to do it, trust me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna grab out some ink. So I have a tag that I have already cut using the um, Marius Trees dies. This is in our our online store. I think it's in the annual catalog as well, but I'm using this great big tag die uh, from the Marius Trees dies. I really like this tag a lot. So, and then from the, for the little dots, I don't know if that's gonna even show up. I think it shows up a little bit. I just have a little splatter of dots going on the background. We're gonna stamp that in basic beige. Let me grab some scrap paper real quick. Okay, this will work. It's a little messy, but it'll work. So I have some basic beige and my splatter actually comes from the um, layering leaves stamps that we're using this little splatter right here now truth be told when I stamp this I'm not sure if this is the splatter that I actually used I may have gone through my stamps and found a different splatter so any splatter will really work we're just adding a little bit of texture to the background of this tag um, and I'm gonna do it diagonally so I'm gonna go this way and we're just gonna stamp this diagonally so any splatter you have will work and I'm sure that we all have those stamp sets with with splatter in them so just look through your stamps and find that. And if you don't have a splatter stamp set, that layering lead stamp set is fantastic. So just a little bit of splatter, kind of diagonally from the top left down to the bottom right. Okay, so that's with basic beige. So I'm gonna close that up. This is a new color. Um, really, really great basic color if you need um, a stamp or color like that. Really fantastic. We have cardstock as well. All right, I am going to stamp our greening. So this little piece, let me measure this. This is um about five eighths by three we're not going to need it that long um but we're going to stamp our celebrate greeting and the celebrate greeting comes from the unbound in love um, stamp set and this is brand new in our annual catalog as well so really fun stamp sets and i'm going to stamp that in real red to match my cardstock and i'm just going to stamp this in the middle and we're going to end up trimming off the the sides of this a little bit so hopefully I can get this nice and straight. Pretty good, we're gonna go with it. Okay, so close up that red ink pad before I stick something in it. My hand, no doubt. All right, grab some dimensionals and put a couple dimensionals on the back of this. Don't go all the way to the edge because we're, like I said, we're gonna trim off the ends of this. This is a little bit longer than the tag. So don't go all the way to the edge. I'm just gonna stick those in the middle. And then we're just gonna stick this onto the bottom of our tag and just line up that um, celebrate so it's nice and centered on the tag and then anything that needs to be trimmed off just go ahead and flip that over and trim it off just like that okay all right let's work on all of our stars now I took um I took a look at all of my dies and I found stars in a couple of different stamp sets so I have these stars which I really love these are kind of like hand-drawn stars it's like if you were if you draw a star just on a piece of paper. That's kind of the star that this is. And this is from the Kid in a Round Eyes. This was in our spring catalog, um, but it's carried over into our into our annual catalog. And then the other star dies is from those same Marius Trees dies, and I'm using that one. So we have a variety of stars here. And I'm going to, I've already die cut them all. I want to bring these over. They were on my DSP. That's why we had to do this part first. <laughs> um, but I have die cut them all on adhesive sheets. So basically all we're going to do is peel and stick. So, which is gonna be, it's gonna sound easier, then I'm gonna make it look, I promise. Okay, so the adhesive will just peel right off. Oh man. See, I told you guys this is gonna sound easier than it actually is. There we go. All right. Get that little piece out of there. All right. So this one, um, I'm just gonna kind of follow in that same pattern that I did. And I only cut a few, I only cut two of these solid stars and it looks like I used three. So we're just gonna kind of improvise with what we have. So we'll start with these. 
but the back ink should just come right off and then you have a little sticker. Our adhesive sheets are phenomenal. The only key with using our adhesive sheets is that you have to remember to put on the adhesive before you die cut them. And that is, that is maybe the hardest part of using the adhesive sheets. <laughs> but if you can remember that, then you're set, you're golden. All right, I'm gonna stick this one up here and I'm gonna fill these in the top up here their little tag. These are coming off nice and easy now. It's just that first one that we had to get out of the way. The first struggle. Actually, the ribbon's going to cover that, so I don't want to put that there. Let's put that there. And then I'm actually going to trim this off. And then I can use this half somewhere else. So I will use this maybe down here along the bottom. Just like that. And our last star Let's see, let's go ahead and, hmm, where shall we put this? Let's put it, let's go ahead and just stick it right here. Okay, now the thing with the adhesive sheets is once you get them stuck down, you really need to burnish them down. You need to take a bone folder and really um, give them a good press. And that one, I kind of ripped that one apart. So let's see if we can fix that one. I'll have to take a little drop of glue later and fix that one but you really want to give these a good solid press and that's really going to um, make sure that they don't go anywhere so the adhesive sheets are fantastic they're a little bit repositionable if you just stick them down so you really need to go through and really really give them a really really good press all right so that is our lovely little tag lots of shimmer and shine now if you have any stars hanging off you can just go through and trim those off okay all right, I have some ribbon. This comes in a two pack. This is um, the diagonal trim combo. This comes in white and in petal pink. And you can see that beautiful diagonal trim print. So I'm going to stick this through here. And let's see if I can do this on the spool. I'm not gonna tie a knot first. I'm just going to make a loop up from the front. And then I'm gonna take this back piece and I'm gonna loop it over the top from the right side and then make a, make a little loop in the back and just stick that where my finger is and pull that. And that will give you a nice flat bow. You don't have the bulk of that big knot. Um, you can kind of maneuver this a little bit. If you need to kind of slow that down and go back and watch that, you can. Okay, so let's trim these ends and I was able to do that on the spool and it came out as a decent bow on video, so hooray. Perfect. All right, so our tag is done. We are almost done with this card. So I have some DSP and my DSP is two by four and three fourths. And this is just gonna go right on the front. And this is um, the Mediterranean Blooms DSP. This is the, the orange patterns. This is a gorgeous DSP. So you have like all kinds of orange citrus patterns on one side and the other side is this beautiful um, blue colors, navy and all kinds of different blues. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to stick that on and then we're going to stick our tag on with dimensionals. Of course, just a couple of those. All right. And stick this on kind of at an angle. I thought it looked really cute as an angle. So watch your adhesive on the corners down here. All right, we have one more thing to finish this off. These are our sparkle gems. These are in our annual catalog and I'm just going to add a few of these kind of gold or champagne colored ones just to finish this off. So one down here, we'll put one up here. Another one, I'm just using a variety of sizes. All right, I think that's good. So, so cute, isn't that? And lots of sparkle and shine from that gold foil and from the, the gems. We have a really fun little cake box. And remember, you can modify this, change up the colors, change up the DSP, change the tag for any occasion that you have. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Like I was saying earlier, I really appreciate all your patience. We've had so much family things going on, lots of family visiting as well. So um, I haven't been able to be as present as I would like in, on my uh, Facebook and YouTube channels, but I really appreciate you guys um, hanging in there with me. If you love these products, please make sure to projects, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss a video when I post them and you'll always get this fun inspiration. Thank you guys so much. If you are shopping for these products, there's a link to shop in my online store in the video description, as well as my current host code for the month. Don't forget that dye bundle sale ends on June 30th. So get that shopping in now. All right, guys, have a great day 
and I will see you guys later. Bye.